Hi, this is Steve with Teach Me Software. Today I'm going to show you how to design a dog bone using just rectangles and circles and then we're going to put some text in the middle of it. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop Creative Cloud 2020. This should work in any version of Photoshop. So first thing we want to do is we want to create a new document. I've got a 1920 by 1080 here and I've got my background set at a custom background. You can do a white background, a black background if you want to use white stroke on it. You can do that. You can do a transparent. I just picked a custom with this kind of lime green color. So we're going to create our document. So now we have our document here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come over to your shape tool down here, press and hold it, and then select the rectangle tool. Now you come back up here to the top, and sometimes depending on what you did last with the program, it may be set on path. If that's the case, you can't set parameters for your triangle. So you want to make sure it's on shape. I've got a fill, uh, I've got no fill selected. Uh, yours might be on a color or something. If it is, just come up here, click the little box, and then select the little box with a line through it, with the red line through it, and that'll give you no fill. My stroke is already set on black. You can set your stroke to whatever color you want. You can select it to that red color, and but I like black on mine, so I'm just going to come back to my color picker, slide off the corner there, it gives me a a true black color and then on your pixel size uh, I have mine at 5 which is what I'm going to use but you can change that highlight it and change it or you can use the slide bar and change it to whatever size you want uh, I don't like the slide bar because it's hard to get exactly where you want it like I'm sitting there trying to get it on 5 and I just don't have a steady enough hand I guess so I just like to highlight it hit 5 and it'll default back to pixels so now I've got a 5 pixel black stroke with no fill so that's perfect that's what I want so now I want to come in here and I want to draw my triangle and get somewhere in the neighborhood of this off of your edge. You don't want to be too close to your edge over here or your circles will come off the edge of your document. So you want to make sure you got a little bit of space on the end of your document, but you don't want to make it too short either because then your bone won't really look like a bone. So come back up here to the top. You're still on shape layer, so we're going to change the height of our triangle. I'm changing mine to 300. You can change it to whatever you want, but you just got to remember the height of your rectangle. I'm sorry, I keep saying triangle instead of rectangles. I don't know why I do that. So we want the height of our rectangle at 300, or you can pick 250 or 200, just depending on what size you want to work with. But right now, I pick 300, if that's important when we start drawing our uh, circles. So we're going to come back up here and you want to select the move tool so we can adjust this thing, center it to our document uh, vertically and horizontally. So now it's centered perfectly in our document. And then the next thing we want to do after that is draw our circles. But before we draw our circles, what I found out is if I tried to put my circles on the same layer as the rectangle over here, it does not work right. So if you come down here, the little plus sign, create a new layer. And that's where we're going to start drawing our circles. So come back to your shape tool, press and hold it, pick your ellipse tool, come back up here on the top somewhere, hit the shift key to get a perfect circle, and draw your circle. Okay, don't worry too much about how big it is. Just get it somewhere close to the same width as your rectangle down here. And now you come back, we still got shape layers picked over here. So change the height of your circle. I'm sorry. Make sure this thing here is linked, okay? So right here, our two sizes are linked together. Change the width to 300. And now we got a 300 by 300 circle. So we got a perfect circle at 300 pixels high. So come back up here, collect your, select your move tool, bring your circle down, and you want to align this center box here with the edge of your rectangle. Okay? And then as far as the height or how high and low you want it, you want it somewhere in the neighborhood of about two-thirds down. So out of the diameter of my circle, two-thirds of the diameter of my circle is on the triangle here. Or I'm sorry, on my rectangle. So the next thing you want to do, once you got that centered, and we can do some other adjustment on this in a minute. So the next thing you want to do, make sure that your ellipse layer is still selected. And then you want to come in and make a copy of that layer and just do Control-J. And now we got an ellipse one copy. So that thing is sitting on top of it while you still got your move tool selected. Come down here and then you start moving this circle. At some point when the crossover to these two circles is equal, 
you will see a little bar pop up. There it is. See the two bars at the center of my circles going out? So that means that the distance from where this circle intersects and this circle intersects from here to here and here to here is equal. Okay? It's probably lined up right on our triangle too, but we can fix that in a minute. So the next thing we want to do is you want to come in here and on your layers panel again, select ellipse and hold down shift and, and do ellipse one, ellipse one copy. You want both of those selected. So now you see this is treating this all as one, uh, one shape. So then we still got our move tool selected. So now we can start sliding this up and down. And now we see the little bar going right through the center of our rectangle and through the center of our circles. That means all these are lined up perfectly. So we're centered this way, we're centered this way. So now the next thing we want to do is we still got these two copied, selected. We got ellipse one, ellipse one copy selected. We want to make another copy of both of those layers. So while these, these two over here are still selected, hit control J again, and it just made another copy. So it's still sitting on top while we still have our move tool selected. We want to slide these down center them on the end of our rectangle and move them up till we get that little line down the center of the, the rectangle and through our circles and then let go of it. So all of this, all of this is lined up perfectly now. So now we have the outer shape. If you come along here, the outer shape of our dog bone is here, but we have to combine all these shapes to get rid of all the stuff in the middle. So what you want to do, come over here and click your ellipse one copy to you want to select all five of these layers. So select that one, hit the shift key, and then click the bottom one. So now all five layers are selected. Now this is where all the magic happens here. You come back up here to layer, and then merge shapes right here. And we click that. It takes all the stroke out from the inside. The stroke is just on the outline, the outside edge, and that makes our dog bone. So if while you got your selection tool, click off the canvas, and then there's your dog bone shape. So we can do something else. Now, some of you may say you can create this easier in Adobe Illustrator, which is true. The problem with Adobe Illustrator, though, is the text function. When you put text in, it puts a space underneath your text, and it's hard to center text inside of this. So I want to show you something. If you come back up while well, you got this, you got your lips one copy or whatever it called it on your program selected, hit the move tool. And we can do all of our adjustments on our lining. So you want to make sure this thing's aligned to the center, horizontally and vertically. And while you have that done, so then you come back in here and you put text in. So we got text. I'm going to, I got a, you can put whatever text you want, whatever size you want. I've already played with this, so I already kind of know. So, so we're just going to put a dog name in there. Rover is a good dog name. And already, you can adjust your size once you have that text. If you need to adjust the size of your text, just highlight your text. And then you can change the point size to whatever you want. You can change your font to whatever you want. Uh, you know, we'll do this blue, whatever. So I'm going to go back with my Arial Rounded MT Bold. And I think 160 is what I had it at. So now... I'm going to come back up here. Once you got your text how you want it, you come back and you hit your move tool and then you align horizontally and you align vertically. And now your text, I hit my selection tool, click off the canvas, take all the lines away. So now I've got my text perfectly centered inside of my bone. And the problem with Illustrator is Illustrator has got this imaginary space underneath the text. So when you do that, Illustrator is going to, when you center it, it's going to look something like that for some reason. There may be a way around that. I haven't figured it out, but I know that Photoshop doesn't do that. That's why I just do my design in Photoshop, add my text in Photoshop. That way it's all in one program. So we can go back in here. As long as your move tool is selected, you can go back, center, uh, center horizontally, and horizontally and vertically. It puts it back in the middle. So now we've got our dog bone with our name inside of it. So... Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share my videos. Thank you.